Hello, everyone. Hope all is well. Get my boobly here. Uh, <clears throat> Ace Pop Culture here. So, today we're going to do a different kind of unboxing. Uh, I've got my knife ready. Kids, remember, don't use these at home, okay? Ask an adult to use it for you. Um, so I wanted to show you guys something interesting. Uh, a lot of people do these mystery boxes online, and you order online, and you never know what you're going to get. And so, recently, I actually, this is a, about a month ago, but they have a month, monthly subscription usually. So recently, I got one of these, and it's from, um, I believe I said I was going to talk about this in another video. It is from bam box so this is the bam geek box they do multiple different boxes um and you know usually you expect to get something cool in it but realistically not always so much so i'm going to show you what's in the box from last month and then we're going to open these open these two new boxes here which one is a bam geek and one is a bam horror and we're going to see what we get now initially i had joined this subscription i've since canceled it because Obviously, it's not giving me anything really good, but I joined this subscription because they were doing signed Funkos, and I wanted to see what signed Funkos I would get in my collection. Well, that wasn't very effective either, because the signed Funkos that they were sending out were not great, and it was like once in a blue moon you'd get one. So, this is the one from last month. We're going to open it up. I'm going to show you what came inside it and why I really decided to cancel my subscription. So usually everything is face down in the box, and you've got this piece of paper that says BAM all over it, co covering the, the inside contents. So first, I'll show you the pins that they sent. Uh, I mean, they're, you know, obviously they're cool little collector pins. So we've got an Ant-Man there, and then we've got an Ant-Man helmet there. So, I mean, you know, the pins are okay. I'd put them at like three, five dollar pins. Um, then I don't even know what this is. It's, uh, does it say on the paper what it is? Oh, it does say on the paper what it is. So, okay, I know what this is. This is the, the, it's a prop, the necklace from, uh, the Witcher TV show and game. So, I mean, you know, again, that's interesting, but still, you know, three, five dollar prop, you know. A uh, little bomb sticker, it looks like. That's kind of interesting. Um, so there's, there's those items to start it off. And then what they do is they send you an autograph and an art print. Or it could even be, uh, I think it could be a lithograph. I don't remember, but an autograph and an art print. So for that, for this last, for the last month, last month, um, we got this art print from, and I want to shout out to the artist because I mean, it's a cool print, but it's fan art, art inspired from the fan art collection exclusively for a single print run. And it doesn't even have the art artist on here. He just signed it. So well, I'll show it. It's a print for the Batman. I'm guessing the film, but it's signed at the bottom there. So, you know, it's, it's an interesting little print. And here's where we get to, to why I didn't really care for what they sent. You know, you think you're going to get an autograph in one of these uh, boxes, and you're like, okay, cool, I'll get an autograph. But then they send you an autograph that nobody, I mean, really necessarily wants in their collection. So I'm going to show you the autograph I got. Not to disrespect the actress at all. Great actress. Um, great in a couple of movies. I didn't mind her in the Terminator franchise. Well, in the movie that she was in. But just not my cup of tea as far as collecting signatures. But this is a Beckett certified picture signed by the actress from Terminator 3, I believe. I believe it's Terminator 3. So again, you know, not fantastic. I mean, you pay... 30, I think it was $36.99 for the box, and you at least get close to the value that you're spending. I mean, those signed prints don't cost them anything, really, because they bring the actor in and have them sign a bunch of them, and they use a bunch of prints for a bunch of boxes. So they're really, at the end of the day, they're really making the money off of the, off of the prints, and the other stuff is just extra. So that was not a great box. Um, next, we're going to show you, I'll show you the Bam Geek box from this last month that I got in the mail recently. Um, it's still sealed, so we'll take the knife here. I'm going to be as surprised as you guys are opening it up, so let's cut the uh, tape there. It's just on the bottom. Set that down there. Let's pop it open and see what we got. So this is the Bam Geek. Again, we have the paper here. Um, in that last one, they also sent me a notice that they owed me pens, I guess, because they ran out of pen stock. So uh, it looks like they, they followed through with that. They sent two other pens. So I'll show you the pens here. Um, okay, so, you know, I got a couple, couple interesting little, uh, Transformer pins here. I think that's, I believe that's Megatron right there. That's, that's okay, and I don't know who that guy is, but it's another pin. 
I'm sure on the slip here it'll tell me who the pins are. Let me see. Just a sec here. Pull the slip from the bottom. Uh, it just says Transformers prints. Look for the ch glitter chase variants. So it doesn't say who the print who the pins are, but you guys will know. You guys are fans of Transformers. I'm not a big Transformers person. Uh, my buddy Gavin's huge into Transformers, so he would know what that is. These are pretty cool pins. I'll probably keep these. We've got uh, a Dalek pin, so that's that's kind of cool, you know. And then we have the uh, the TARDIS glittering away there, so that's a cool little pin. Um, this looks to be a prop. Wow, that's a dangerous prop. A prop from Moon Knight. It's his Moon Crescent. So I mean that again. These are probably so easy for them to mass produce and toss in these boxes. Is this not nothing I have? I, as a fan of anything, would have interest in, in having in a collection, you know? Uh, but some people do. This is a uh, this is the art print for this time around. It looks to be Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, there's just a, a signature on the bottom. Um, I don't even think that's a real signature this time. It's numbered, but it's not a real signature. It looks like it's a printed signature. So, wow, that's uh, real great there, Bambox. Thanks. <laughs> And then the other thing, this is this is the final thing in this box, is going to be the art print, or the signed print, which, uh, wow, you know, I actually, I've seen this lady at three cons in the last few months here, so not a hard signature to get. I mean, you have to pay for it, of course. I think she's $40, $50 for her signature. Um, it says it's Beckett certified. It's got the sticker, but it looks like it's missing the uh, certification on the back there. But we have the actress's name is... Uh, there's em Emily Swallow. So she's known for Supernatural and SEAL Team, but now she is a re reoccurring character on The Mandalorian. So there's the, the Mandalorian print that was sent in the band box. Again, I'm not, you know, big on these side prints. It's whatever, but, uh, that's, that's the BAM geek box for, for this last month. So nothing, nothing too special. And they show you on the card, they send you a piece of paper here that really shows which you have a chance in getting in that month. So, you know, it shows it shows two different art prints. Um, I guess there's a Chase variant print. I don't know which... Oh, I got the Chase variant print, I guess. Interesting. Let me see here. We're going to go back on that real quick because I want to see the print. Um, so we'll put the signature back in there. So it looks like... Oh, I see what it is. Okay, cool. Uh, interesting. Okay, so <laughs> so let's let's elaborate on this print a little bit. So one is just a regular print of uh, Rocket and Groot um, running away from Star Lord, and it looks like uh, Groot is holding a red magic marker, and that's the regular print. Mine is the variant that has Rocket holding the permanent marker and is running away from Star Lord. So you know, it's it's cool. It's a variant print. I mean, that's something. But here's a little, again, the little paper that basically shows you anything that you can get in the, in the box. Not, not a fantastic box. Not, not really. Now, let's take a look at the horror one. I always dig the horror ones, but, you know, I, I've only gotten two of these over time, and I've never really gotten anything great in them. So let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to cut it before I can open it up here. So let's cut across here. There we go. Cut the tape. Pop it open. And again, we have the uh, the band paper, the usual band paper there. Uh, we got our couple pins. Oh, okay, okay. So we got a leprechaun pen. That's that's kind of cool. I kind of dig that. And uh, oh wow, that's funny. Okay, so anyone that hasn't seen this movie, if you look closely, it looks like Elvis, but it's not Elvis. It's Bruce Campbell as Elvis. That is from Bubba Hotep. That is a cool. Well, we know I'm gonna keep that pen. <laughs> that's a cool little pen. I like that. Uh, this seems to be a, why are they sending stuff like this to people? That, that's, uh, I don't know how that's getting through the mail. Honestly, that looks like a crucifix, like metal crucifix piece. I, I understand it's a prop, but that's pointy. Uh, let's see. Here is the art print. Um, from a movie I've actually never seen, but there's only 500 pieces for this. It's called Cheerleader Camp. So I've never seen this movie. It's an interesting, cool little piece of art. Um, uh, maybe I'll have to watch the movie sometime, but that's the art piece. Now let's move on to the autograph. Who is the autograph for this month? Oh, okay, cool. So it looks like the autograph for this, this box this time around is actually Jeffrey Combs. Um, let's see. Did I get that? It looks like also, it looks like for that, uh, cheerleader camp, it looks like I got the chase variant. Okay. 
Cool. So that's two chase variants in two boxes. That's that's kind of something cool. I mean, not that a print chase variant is really <laughs> really has a value, but that's still cool. Still pretty cool. Um, there we go. Cool. So it's it's a. It's, I mean, this one's okay. I, I like it. I'm just not big on prints signed by people. But uh, you know, this is definitely uh, Jeffrey Combs. I think charges sixty, sixty five, maybe seventy dollars for a signature. So. Look at that, there's a Jeffrey Combs print from Reanimator, and it's signed by Jeffrey Combs and Beckett certified. So, uh, not, not a huge loss, you know, but again, they mass produce these prints for things like this. So, it's not really a big, you know, thing. But there's the, the March for Horror Box. Put that back in there. And, uh, I mean, that's that's really it on the on the band boxes here. Um Again, I, I just wanted to do an unboxing and, and show anybody that follows my page that these things are, I'm going to be honest with you, they're, they're not fantastic. They're not really great, and they do this at conventions, and they do it through the mail, and it's just, it's really, it's like, um, I guess kind of like a pyramid scheme sort of thing. Like, you, you spend money on, on what you think you'll get that is really cool, and it just winds up not being anything that cool. Sometimes they'll send cool stuff. Sometimes you'll find you'll get something cool. Like if you go to one of these conventions and you get like a, you know, a, a mystery Funko Pop. Um, you know, I've done mist I've done mystery envelopes for for a couple of years now, um, and I've had people win really cool things for me. But you know, the thing about the mystery envelopes is I I you always get something for me. Always, you're always going to get a real really decent prize. You know, comic books, toys, games, movies, all that kind of stuff. But with these Bam Horror boxes and and uh, geek boxes and any other thing that you get through the mail, like comic, oh, don't even get me started on the comic book mystery boxes. Um, you don't necessarily get, I guess, the bang for your buck. Um, I will admit that the Jeffrey Combs one isn't that bad because his signature is pretty up there. So even if you get a signed photo from him, you're looking at 65 bucks at any convention. And, you know, obviously I'm a fan of Bubba Hotep, so the Bubba Hotep pen is cool. But tossing the art prints in there, like nobody really, I mean, it's cool art, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, shout out, I don't know who the artist is, so I can't shout out to him. Uh, it's just not something that that collectors, all collectors necessarily uh, want or collect. Maybe toss an action figure in there. I don't know. Uh, this, this whole thing, this whole box thing, started with Loot Crate, and Loot Crate went under because they owed lots of money to a lot of people, and that just did not work out for them. Um, I had a, I have a friend that worked for Loot Crate, and it was just a wow. It was a real big headache of a mess for for fans and for people. And uh, the only the only way they kind of saved themselves a little bit was when they got the Ninja Turtle license from NECA. And they did, uh, you know, some NECA exclusives for for uh, Loot Crate. But uh, I don't recommend the BAM boxes. I'm sorry, BAM. Uh, maybe if you send me something cooler, or uh, if you see this video and, you know, want to send me something cool, that'd be great. But I, I, can't, I just can't condone uh, promoting something that, that isn't necessarily the people getting what they pay for. I mean... You know, at $37 plus shipping a piece, they're like almost $43 or something. I don't know. I'd have to check the exact price. I mean, you get, you're giving out little, you're giving out prints that you probably pay the actor a set fee for and they sign a bunch of them for you. So, uh, you know, I, I, all I can really say is, is bam, do better. Do a little better with your stuff. Uh, give give fans what they what they deserve instead of you know. It's good to make money. We all want to make money. We all want to run a business. That's fine. But um, the more you take care of your fan base, the more your fan base will take care of you. And and that's something that a lot of actors know. And and uh, you know some businesses know, not all, but um, just you know just consider it. Anyways, ease pop culture out.